Last night, the Prime Minister, in a social media post, announced on Facebook that he was looking forward to attend the Commission of Inquiry. He posted, looking forward to attend the UBS inquiry tomorrow. Time to expose those who use PNG as their playground to make money. They have moved on or about affluence, but my country PNG still remains in man-made sinkhole. Tomorrow will be the first of many of my formal submission sessions to the COI. However, Marope arrived 30 minutes late for his brief appearance today before the Commission Chairman, Sir Salamo India. Those with criminal culpability or those who have found to commit a criminal offence will face their time under the sun. Including companies, you know, Ombudsman Commission is a, is a, a consistent body that looks at those of us who hold uh, medicine, uh, medicine offices per se, and those who uh, need to be compliant with the medicine code. The inquiry opens the ambit of uh, investigation beyond scope of medicine and look at everyone who had a hand in the transaction that goes beyond uh, just the medicine realms. It's a feeling for the country. The three billion kina that belongs to people of this country were involved in the entire U.S. transaction. We need to go into the entire length and depth of this matter and to ascertain whether uh, so any act of impropriety is in it. At the moment, uh, let's allow the inquiry to this job. That's why I'm here. After a short adjournment, the commission resumed and Marope, in a brief appearance, agreed to give evidence on the dates proposed by chairman of the commission, Sir Salamo India. Marope is expected to provide evidence in both soft and hard format, including a list of witnesses to the commission. Some of the questions that the commission will be more interested in is the proper role of the government in the economy uh, and the government's uh, policy on investment in not only state-owned uh, enterprises, but also looking at the government policy in terms of the government's investment in, in what appears to be purely private uh, business enterprises. And the uh, Commission believes that your uh, client has the necessary experience as the current Prime Minister to give this Commission some assistance in understanding the political economy of this country. Okay. The Commission has asked former Prime Ministers and former Finance Ministers, very senior public servants that assisted the government when Papua New Guinea got independence. And they continue to play a prominent uh, role in the development of this country. Those witnesses have been called and they've appeared before the Commission and uh, the Commission has given them a date in the month of April to give that kind of evidence. The Commission of Inquiry is anticipated to be completed by July 27th. However, things are going at a much slower pace. Those who have been summoned to appear at the inquiry are not turning up. The national government is yet to release funds to bring in barristers from overseas and appointments for councils assisting the commission are yet to be confirmed. At this stage, the commission is only sorting out dates and confirming the types of evidence that will be submitted and used during the inquiry. Thekla Gunga, National MTV News.